Are you having a hard time configuring the Palo Alto feeds, better known as dynamic content updates? Stick around, in this video I'm going to show you how to do it. The Palo Alto dynamic content updates is just a fancy name to use for the feeds, like antivirus updates or application updates. So let's head to the computer, so I can show you how to configure it to download and install it automatically. So guys, to be sure that your threat feeds and all the feeds that you need for anti antivirus and everything is being um, downloaded and installed automatically, you need to come to device. And here you can scroll down in the menu until you find dynamic updates. This is the menu you're looking for. There you will see um, the feeds that are being that are um, available from Palo Alto and you can schedule the download and also the installation, which is recommended from Palo Alto. If you don't see the full page, actually, you should always do this. Let's go here to check now on the bottom corner, bottom left corner, and it's going to contact the update server in the cloud and it's going to get the new, the newest updates. I'm going to do it for my antivirus. I see that there is no schedule. It means that the antivirus is just being made available on the internet, but it's not being automatically installed at the firewall. So we click on, in this case, none. And here you can see, I want to make the download every hour. How many minutes after the hour? Maybe five minutes. So 105, 205, 305, 405. Action. I want to say that I want to download and install automatically. A threshold. A content update must be at least this many hours old for the action to be taken. It means that it only installs some um, feeds if the feeds are maybe five days old or six days old or six, seven days old. You can choose whatever you want. In this case, the Palo Alto has this so that you don't you you still have a time to that other companies use this feed because it happened once that I was in a company and I had a problem with DNS. It was this application and threads feed had something and my combination with my panorama and the, my firewalls there was one firewall that didn't have the the newest one and then the panorama rolled out something else and this firewall didn't really recognize the dns application and so we had a, a problem at the company and then afterwards palo alto uh, took this feedback so we rolled out maybe i think it was two days later they said okay this feed has problems let's take it back so this is the idea and they, they didn't make this, this, uh, this feed available anymore. So the idea of this threshold is for you. If you want, you can wait five days or something like this uh, so that you're sure, okay, this feed was not taken back from Palo Alto. It's, it's working fine and we can uh, roll out in our company. I'll just leave it like this uh, open. And I'll just press OK. You're going to see something's going to change here. Yeah, every hour at five minutes past the hour download and install so it installs it automatically in this case here you can see there's nothing but it's going to get installed later so guys that's it if you like the video you got some value from it just give me a thumbs up or a like uh, subscribe to the channel it's going to help more people to get um, to get to see a video like this and thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye